discuss what is the bean scope in dependency injection when you work on spring framework so in my previous video i have already explained what is the dependency injection and how bean has been created by the container with the help of the configuration file right so if you want to see this is the configuration file and we have some object class debit card credit card and these are the some uh, constructor argument so this is the configuration file by which any spring container can create the bean on behalf of you right so but if you want to know what is the bean scope so many they have the two bean scope one is the singleton and second is the prototype singleton is by default no need to specify for singleton so what is the meaning of singleton and prototype singleton is that as you see this message here that this is they will create the one instance of one object of one bean per container so in one container for the one object one bean would be there so if you modify that modify is going back to the cache and other person if they be asked they will get the modified bean so in this diagram three component are asking the beans right or they will get the same bean if the scope is the singleton we will get the more understand when i will go the code prototype every time when you ask that we give the new instances so they will not keep into the cache every time they will create the new instance and give to you so this is the singleton and this is the prototype let us understand through the code so in my previous video i have explained i have one credit card and they have the two property we meet and the bank name and both are coming through the constructor right if you see here we meet and the constructor and i have one detail in detail i am showing the we meet and the bank name okay and how this object being created through the configuration file this is the configuration file that i pass into the application context in the container and they will create the object behalf of us right so if you i'm talking about just the credit card here if you see credit card for this two parameter argument i am passing integer for the 55000 something and the bank i am passing the icic bank right now you come to the demo from where i am invoking here so if you see here we just talk the credit card this time we will not talk this one so we i'm just make this okay so now and this is the cc card cc card is the bin id if you go here i was talking so cc card is here so the flow is that first they will create the application container uh, means uh, the container with the help of this configuration file this configuration file then the moment you be ask give me the card cc card he will return you this cc card right this has been already created this instances right now i want to show one thing so by default is a singleton right so if you click here and just first let it run it then we will um, what is coming right now then we will see that so when you run it <laughs> why it is oh you have to go why it is not running yeah so if you run it here it is showing the 55000 and bank name right so now you go and change this value so credit dot limit and i am making the 10000 okay and again create the new object from the bin it means you ask to bin a container that give me the new one so take the new one this is a new object and let me see this whatever i have changed the first time when you get the bean i have changed whether this um, this limit has been reflected in the bean factory or not so now run this code 
and you can see this amount, this limit has been changed because for all the time when you asking if you see the image, they are giving the same cached image, cached, cached, uh, cached uh, instances, right? So what happened? This time you got the credit card object and you change it. The moment you change it, it's also update the value in the bin factory. And from the bin factory, you're asking again the CC card. They will give return the same the instances, what they have created and has been changed by here, right? So again, if you change something, so suppose, again, if you change something, this time I, I have the credit one and make this suppose the 7000 and make the credit card two here, right? I create one more object, right? Now I have the three object and every time you can see you are getting the updated values. Means every time it's coming from the, it is returning the same bin. How many times you will ask, it will return the same bin, right? Now this is the single turn. So even though as I says by default it is the single turn, so no need to type the scope is the single turn. It is behave like the single turn. Scope is by default is the single turn. Even if you give or not give, you will uh, get the same widget, right? You're getting the same widget, right? Now I'm going to change the scope to prototype. Now what happened in the prototype? Let me again explain from the diagram. So every time you will ask, this bean factory will create the new bean, new instances, and it will return to you. Okay? So it will not cached. So every time it will be the new. So whatever you update in your code here, if you go to the demo, whatever you update, that will not reflect for this object. This time, this one, two and three are the three different instances in the case of the prototype. Let me run this code because I have already changed the scope. Now if you see everything is 50, 55,000, right? So whatever you change here, it didn't go back to the bean factory. It didn't go to the application context, right? You are changing locally. It is not changing to the bean factory. That's why when you create the next time new object, it is not impacting, right? That's why this complete um, thing is the scope of the bean. So you can, you have the keyword scope and through the scope you can change the bean. That, that's all for this video and uh, uh, please be kind and uh, subscribe this channel but I would recommend please visit the continuous from the first video of this spring so you will have the better understanding right uh, thank you